Hello everyone, my name is Nikki Richardson and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple, easy to clean dish rack using resin casting techniques you can do yourself at home. To start, we'll need a two-part food safe resin, a two-part silicone or urethane based resin for the mold, mold release, a couple different kinds of poster board, some plastic containers for mixing, tape, scissors, trash bag, hot glue gun and sticks, any kind of reference geometry you want to use for the dish rack, and then we'll also need safety glasses and gloves for working with the urethane later. All right, let's get started. To begin, start by making a box out of poster board that matches the dimensions you want for your final base. I used a trifold presentation board to form the bottom and long edges in order to minimize the number of sides I had to seal later. Because I was designing a new base instead of casting a mold directly from an existing piece, I also created a mock-up of the geometry I wanted the final result to have. After that, cut additional strips of poster board to length to fit the remaining sides and seal all the contact points using hot glue. Now you're ready to make the mold. Coat the interior of the box with mold release, then mix equal parts A and B of the urethane solution. I didn't have disposable containers large enough for the volume of fluid I was working with, so I mixed the solution in batches. You have about 30 minutes of working time after mixing before the urethane begins to set, so be sure to have everything ready to pour before you mix the solutions cure overnight, then disassemble the box and remove the mold. This proved to be easier said than done, as the poster board I used was too porous, so the mold bound partly to the board despite the application of mold release. Once I got most of the board off, I soaked the mold in water and white vinegar and scrubbed the remaining material off the mold. After the mold was clean and dry, I resealed the mold, leaving a sprue for the resin, and created a new box since I couldn't reuse the old one. Using the same process as with the urethane, I mixed the resin solution and filled the mold. Allow to sit for at least three days. Disassemble the box and the mold. This will leave you with your finished product. As with the mold casting, the cast resin was difficult to extract, and I ultimately did not end up with a usable product from this attempt. I did, however, gain insight into how I might do this more successfully in the future. The three main takeaways I took from my first attempt at resin casting were 1. Even slightly porous materials will make casting go poorly. 2. These resins were great for capturing small surface details, but not good for thin geometries. Trying to remove the unwanted material without damaging the desired surface took a lot of time and ultimately had mixed results. And 3. The brand of resin I used is incredibly flexible after it sets. This is not a property I was looking for in this project, and it's not inherently bad, but this flexibility combined with the thin geometries led to tearing and cracking of the finished resin. 